The 2020 election in Montana is still more than a year and a half away, but that does not mean the political players aren't getting ready for it. Some candidates for statewide office have already thrown their hats in the ring, but as Chief Political Reporter Mike Dennison says, the possible decision of one candidate in particular could scramble the 2020 political landscape. Republican Congressman Greg Gianforte lost the 2016 governor's race to Steve Bullock, but now Gianforte is seriously considering running for governor again next year when the seat is open because Bullock is termed out of office. Gianforte isn't revealing his plans publicly, but if he does run for governor, it will definitely have an impact on other statewide races. But what it does, it creates a domino effect. There might be then a number of opportunities across the ticket, up and down from governor to the tier B offices to the house seat to have a lot of open seats. For starters, Montana's only U.S. House seat would become open. Republican State Auditor Matt Rosendale, who ran for U.S. Senate last year, would likely get into that race, creating an open seat for State Auditor. And Democrat Kathleen Williams, who lost to Gianforte in the 2018 House race, may run for that office again, especially if it's open. In fact, Williams told MTN News she expects to announce her 2020 campaign plans next month. Of course, two prominent Republicans already are running for governor, Attorney General Tim Fox and Secretary of State Corey Stapleton. And there's another one. State Senator Al Osheski of Kalispell, who also ran for U.S. Senate last year, told MTN News he's running for governor in 2020. This case of Republican officeholder musical chairs is music to the ears of Montana Democrats. Montana Democrats are incredibly excited about the opportunities that await us in 2020. Um, we see all sorts of opportunities to take back um, statewide offices in Montana. But Democrats have their own challenges when it comes to statewide races in 2020. The problems the Democrats face, and that's the flip side of the question, is that they don't have a very large bench. It's not really sure where they would get the candidates to run. A Democratic gubernatorial candidate for 2020 has yet to emerge. Lieutenant Governor Mike Cooney says he's thinking about it, and so is Billings Attorney John Heenan who narrowly lost in the Democratic U.S. House primary last year to Kathleen Williams. Helena lawyer Jesse Lazovich, who has run for Attorney General and State Auditor, is mulling the opportunities as well. Democrats also have yet to identify a 2020 candidate to challenge the biggest Montana Republican of them all, U.S. Senator Steve Daines. Governor Bullock, the obvious choice, so far has taken himself out of this race, saying he's not interested and is nosing around a presidential run. The only other Democrat who's told MTN he's thinking about the U.S. Senate race is Helena Mayor Wilmot Collins. So yes, it's early, but I think we can say that 2020 is already shaping out to be one crazy political year in Big Sky Country. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News.